Hi everybody, welcome to Wednesday's Wisdom. Well, you guys know, if you know me at all, you know I am a sucker for a lovely story, right? Something that pulls at your heartstrings and just makes you really think about kindness and and joy and, and making a difference. So I posted this um, story on LinkedIn um, a week back and it received so many hits that I thought it would be nice to read the story for Wednesday's Wisdom for those of you that missed it. And it's a true story about a gentleman who was on Broadway. So I'll read you his story. Um, I was on a national tour of Les Mis, and we were performing in Salt Lake City. At the time, we were doing poster sales for Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS. If someone donated $50, they received a poster signed by the cast. After one performance, I was in costume selling posters in the lobby. I noticed a little girl who was looking at me as if I was the Messiah. I heard her say, Please, mom, please, can I have a poster? Please. Her mom said no, and they walked away. It was a moment I will never forget. In my left ear, quite distinctly, I heard a little whisper. It said, go, Doug, go. Suddenly, without giving it any more thought, I took off in full costume outside the theater. After walking through the crowds, I saw the girl and her mother down the block. They had already crossed the street. As I was running down the street in my Les Mis costume, I thought that I was so busted, but I really didn't care. As I approached the girl, I said, excuse me. She turned around and just stared. You forgot your poster. I handed her a poster and I was gone. I turned around and ran back to the theater before anyone knew what had happened. I went to the company's manager's office and I said, I gave away one of the posters. Here's the $50 my contribution for Broadway Cares. A few days later, there was a letter that showed up on the call board. It read, Dear cast of Les Miserables, you moved me so much. Thank you. I also want to thank you for giving my daughter the poster. I don't know who you are, but it was a nice young man and he was gone before anyone could say thank you. Let me tell you about my daughter. She is sick. She was not expected to live past a very young age. She always wanted to see Les Mis. This even, they even snuck her out of the hospital that night so she could see the show. The tickets were a gift from a family friend. I'm a single mom. Money is very tight. It broke my heart to not be able to buy her that poster. Thank you so much, whoever you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The whole cast was standing around weeping. I didn't say a word. Four years later, the night before the Scarlet Pumpernickel closed, I remember being bitter. Soon, I would be unemployed again. Out of nowhere at a stage door, I heard a little voice. Mr. Storm? I thought, oh God, who's calling me? Mr. Storm, for crying out loud. I looked down. I froze. It was that same little girl. Hi. I knew you were in the show because I follow you on the internet. I brought you a little package. Here's a card. Oh my gosh, how are you doing? Do you want to come in? Are you seeing the show tonight? No, she said, I'm going to see it t tomorrow night. I want to see the last one. I said, why don't you come around tomorrow before the show? I'll take you backstage. I went upstairs and started putting on my makeup. I stopped for a second to read her card. I just want to let you know I've been accepted at NYU Tisch School of the Arts for drama and I'm going to enroll because someday I want to give a kid a poster. Thank you for shaping my life. I lost it. In a moment of my own despair, there was this kid. Everything came full circle. This alone is why I got in the business. Doug Storm on Making It on Broadway. Here's why I love that story. We never know when our actions will truly make a difference in someone's life. And I want you to stay, pay attention to that as you go through each and every day. It's so easy to change a life by a simple handing out a poster or many things that we could possibly do. So I want you to go out today and make it a great day. <music>